Well, Minnesota is known for producing Olympic athletes, and behind me is one of them, Dakota Lindworm, who won the or ran the marathon in Paris. But after she crossed the finish line, she had some unfinished business, and she needed to find the young fan who inspired her in the final grueling miles of that difficult race. Hi, Dakota. It's great to connect uh, like live. Yeah, it's amazing. Totally. It's nice to meet you, Jackson. Yes, yeah, nice to meet you, Dakota. A casual first introduction. I love the shirt. Oh, thank you. But there's a bond there that's going to last a lifetime as their worlds collided on the marathon course at the Paris Olympics. And I just loved how enthusiastic you were, Jackson. Um, you have no idea how meaningful it was for me to hear my name um, at that point in the race. And it, it really motivated me to finish hard. Dakota Linworm, the Olympic marathoner from St. Francis, Minnesota, a little bit of an underdog, but she finished as the top American woman in the marathon, 26.2 miles on the streets and hills of Paris. My Paris marathon experience was perfect. All things considered, to be first American, to take the lead out by Versailles, I thought that was pretty awesome. On the course in Paris, the Lee family from New York State. Big fans of running, especially 11-year-old Jackson. And at the 22-mile mark, Dakota was hurting. And that just so happened to be the spot where the Lee family was waiting. Wave your flag! Wave your flag! So I come down the backside of the very big hill, and I was kind of in a, a bad place mentally, which happens in a marathon. And all of a sudden, this little boy is running right beside me on the other side of the fence. Brother Dakota! You can see Jackson there off in the distance. Dad Terrence trying to keep up. Dakota! Dakota! I got like super excited and like almost a rush of adrenaline. I was just going to run with her for as long as possible. Yeah, I was just like, go Dakota. He was cheering my name and he was just so enthusiastic. Like I could feel how much he wanted it for me. And it was just like this moment I'll never, never forget. Dakota talked to Runner's World after the race and mentioned her search for the little boy who cheered her on. And the Lee family spotted that post. We, and then we read through, and we're just like, wait, like, Ashley, I think this is Jackson. Dakota sent a care package, and you can see some of that in the background of our Zoom call. Also, that T-shirt. Yes, Dakota, you look awesome. And Dakota had some advice for Jackson at his next cross-country meet. When you're tired, remember that you can keep up with an Olympic marathoner, so you can keep running hard in, in your 3K. <laughs> it was so cool to experience that conversation with the two of them and um, with dad too alongside Jackson and just to hear how that all came together because yeah. she just said in that moment I knew it was an American and they were actually saying my mm -hmm. name and, and then he just he stayed with me for a little while so Dakota's going to run the New York City Marathon this fall and then she says she's going to do everything in her power to qualify for the Olympics in 2028 in uh, Los Angeles and a quick side note not only did she she run in the Olympics and have this incredible experience and she was the top American she got engaged right after nice. the race to her longtime boyfriend Montana well, that's nice. and I've met him and they're just wonderful people and we just wish them all the best so it's been an incredible couple of months for Dakota Linworm congratulations Dakota. yes more to come right yes more to come